speaking of what David just said there, five days he had been out of jail, and there was even a probation report early in, earlier in the year where they said Lewis will, quote, continue to be a threat to any community he may reside. So how could this happen? Yeah, no one's going to blame the probation officer here. After that probation officer wrote that report, he went to a treatment facility, completed it uh, for a month. Remember, probation officers only have so much authority. They're there to basically enforce the rules of the court. And unless there's a direct violation, that's really all a probation officer can do. So uh, this probation officer certainly did everything that he or she could have done. Now, police suspect that synthetic drugs may have played a role in Lewis's bizarre and violent behavior. We've seen a rise in reports about synthetic drug use. What are police doing right now to try and combat this growing problem? It's a cat and mouse game. I mean, President Obama just signed into law a bill banning uh, many of these. The problem is the new ones uh, then pop up. So they're constantly trying to figure out what's the latest uh, synthetic synthetic drug that's being created? What are the latest compounds? How do we outlaw them? So they're, they're, they're always trying to chase them to figure out what's the latest one to outlaw and do the best they can, but it's really hard. All right, Dan Abrams, we appreciate it. Thanks so much.